All right, so Tabor City home here. Um, today we're going to work a little bit on the backhoe. One of the things that the uh, gentleman at the New Holland shop said was that the screen at the bottom of this crankcase could be plugged up. So in order to do that, we're gonna take out this USB fiber optic camera that we bought and we're gonna see if we can get it down in the bottom of the crankcase and get a look at it. Um, in order to do that, we're gonna use computer and of course you know computers nice and clean everything else we don't want to we don't want to mess any of that up so one of the things we're going to do is use a little solution that in the past um, i've been able to use to keep electronics and things like that clean while you're using them uh, around vehicles that you're fixing things like that so we're going to get us some saran wrap here we're going to get a good tear on that and we will go ahead and cover up this keyboard so we don't get this computer all dirty while we're working with this thing. So basically you just want to make sure that the entire face of the computer is covered. Um, don't forget about the mouse part of it because you're probably going to have to utilize that a little, a little bit as well. So get your strand wrap. Get it pulled out, get you some duct tape. We got our nice friendly kin tape, chem tape here. So get you some duct tape. Ain't good. It isn't going to take a bunch. Just, just enough so that you got it tight. Doesn't have to be super tight. Make sure you've got, you know, it well covered. Um, once you apply that duct tape to this saran, this plastic wrap stuff, whatever. I think it's glad wrap. Once you uh, once you apply that duct tape to it, there isn't a whole lot of maneuvering. It's pretty much you apply it and you're kind of done. So we are gonna get this on here and get a good bite on that. Get tape down here. Again, we're not looking to make this thing waterproof. It's definitely not going to be waterproof. Um, but we are just trying to make sure that we can get this thing and use it without causing a big mess to our computer. Um, it's interesting. The guys in New Holland have been really, really excellent in answering questions. Uh, let me back in the shop, talk to the guys back there. One fella owns a, a Ford 555, very similar year model to mine. Um, this is a straight A, or a straight 555, it's not even an A. It's just a straight 555. So, actually I wanted to try to do this from the other side. We'll see what we get here. Um, oh banging around all right we of course are going to edit that out lots of stuff going on here uh, let's see all right so as you can see, um, yeah, let's uh, exit out all this stuff. As you can see here, we have a uh, we have our camera. I want to make sure they were oriented the right way. So. This would pretty much be proper orientation. So we're gonna take this little grippy here. Uh, this is a little tool that you can use to retrieve nuts, bolts, things like that that you drop. So we're gonna try to get that about there. All right, start sticking this down in here.
Yeah, you know, we do have the camera. Or we do have the light on rather. Let's see if we can feed this down here. Let's see if we see anything. Um get this thing all the way to the bottom. say we can really see anything so to speak um, that screen on this thing would should could be right up here somewhere kind of feel like I'm an endoscopist or something like Wearing medical gloves or something. That's over there. Get a different travel road down in there. Maybe we turn the brightness down a little bit. No. shining Let's try a different route on this. Not really able to tell a whole heck of a lot from trying to come in from above it. So, we're just going to see if it's possible to come in from below it. So from everything I've seen, read, heard, that port should be basically
somewhere up in this room. We're getting covered there. Ugh. Thankfully, this is a video about can you keep your computer clean and not can you uh, do an endoscopy on the back of figure out if the that would be a gear right there. Gear looks nice. I'm just saying. That's a good looking gear. Alright. So now we're going to try to see just what would happen. Try to just go with the camera. You know, a little bit over a year ago, my mother passed away, and uh, there were a bunch of, my mother collected antiques, and she had a bunch of antique tools at her house, and everybody asked me if I wanted all these antique tools, and, you know, to their surprise, I said, heck no. And they couldn't figure out why, and I said, I don't, I don't get tools that I can't use. And I'm not a particular fan of having things that you can't do the work with that you need to get done. I don't get tools to hang on the wall. So if you ever try to do an endoscopy on a backhoe, one thing I will say is uh, Set your screen so that it doesn't shut down after a couple minutes of not touching it. So. Oh well. Alright. Well, let me try one more time. We all know God loves me. He's gonna make this work. I'm telling you, he is. That's just the way it is, yo. He just wants to see effort. He wants to know that you want it. You know, I will say though that it never goes white like it. You know that it's just got a gum and stuff on it. I will say though that God does want to see effort. That is true, that. But. For the small amount of money that this particular camera costs and the ability to look around in places that you just absolutely would have no other chance of looking at. I mean, I think they're well worth it.
And you know you got a big head when your neck make, when your neck starts to ache. Oh God. I do feel like I'm doing a colonoscopy on somebody. Like, okay. All right. You can't leave till you fart. All right. Whatever. Some of you may actually get that reference. You can't leave till you fart. Oh. Well, I'll say that was worth a try. The The big reason that convinced me to give this a shot was that when, um, when I first got the back of and the whole possibility of the screen being clogged presented itself, um, one of the things I did do was to fill the uh, transmission with some gear oil that had a bunch of diesel in it and try to see if that would potentially break up any kind of a clot that was in there or anything like that. And one thing I can tell you is that I did get a little bit of movement out of the transmission doing that. Um... I am actually going to go and go and have some look at this footage here for a few minutes. See, uh, see if there's anything to see. So, all right, well, so as you can see, I mean, I can sit here and I have transmission hydraulic oil all over my hands. I can sit here and play on the computer, mouse pad works, everything works, but the computer's protected and all I'll have to do is just take that tape off the back side of it and yeah, we'll be good. Won't have any problems. We'll have a computer that's all gummed up with hydraulic oil. So, all right. Saber City Home, thank you for watching, like and subscribe.